Hi, I'm Andrew at Baker's Gas. We're here today with the all-new Lincoln Sprinter 180SI. I uh, just got my demo unit in. Uh, so today in this video we're going to go over what it comes with uh, and all the stuff that it can do, its capabilities, and uh, basically we're just going to break it down. So jumping right in, the Sprinter 180 is a 180 amp TIG stick machine. Now this is a TIG stick unit. They make a stick only unit. So this one has the stick capability, has a gas solenoid through the port gas for your TIG torch. Uh, pretty awesome little unit. Now you can buy just the machine or you can buy like a one pack and it has the case. So there's four SKUs to this. So there's going to be four different part numbers and uh, each one is a different package. But we'll go over the case. So there's a machine, what it comes with at the TIG kit. It comes with your foot pedal, your uh, it's WP-17 air-cooled 150 amp TIG torch, the adapter for the lens connection. It comes with a pretty awesome TIG kit. I'll show you guys this right here. So gas lenses, back caps, medium, short, uh, your, your front end parts, collets, nozzles. has all the part numbers right there so you can reorder from Baker's Gas. Awesome little kit that it comes with right in there. Um, very nice. Then it comes with your stinger for uh, stick welding, your ground cable, and then your conversion cable for the 220 or 120 converters. So we're hooked up to 110, 120, and uh, or I'm sorry, we're hooked up to 230, 240 volt, and this is your adapter to go to 110. So this machine is single phase only, 120, 230 volt. Um, will not do three phase. But what's beautiful about this machine, and it competes in that market of the smaller portable stick welding stuff, very light. I mean, almost, it's, it's crazy how light it is, and it is inverter based. Um, one thing that we notice, you fire it up and the fan stays on, but not a big deal. Uh, and then in this awesome carrying case, it also, I'll show you guys, it's got spring-loaded clips, which is pretty nice, keeps them tight and locked down. And then there's the inside of the case. So form fit, machine sits right down in there, you can put all your parts and pieces that back in there, and then Got some room for a stick electrode or take grab that sort of thing. Uh, very nice case. Very cool the latches. I like those. It's pretty loaded. So let's fire this thing up. Got your arm button in the back here. When the machine kicks on, you can see the front end on there. All the lights that light up. So on this unit here, we're going to go, I'll, I'll toggle back up. So we have stick. Stick 6010, lift TIG, and then high frequency TIG. So this little unit has high frequency and it has pulse. So we can pulse DC TIG, and no AC output, just DC only. And then we can pulse and we have high frequency arc and lift arc. So if you guys are used to that, those kind of things, but there, there's our 7018, 6010. And then over here we see VRD, so voltage reduction device. So what it's going to do is we're going to reduce the voltage out or the open circuit voltage at the studs and then when we strike an arc it brings behind the full voltage. It's just a safety compliance thing so if anybody's wondering what that VRD is that's, that's what that is. It has an overheat light. Now this unit has a 40% duty cycle at 85 amps on stick and 110 amps on tick. So 40% duty cycle and then if you bump up to 180 amps it has a 25% duty cycle on stick. So not too bad, but we're on 718 was yep, 180 amps all the way. And we'll go 6010, and we go 180 amps again. Now you can run a 530 second electrode with this unit, up to a 530 second electrode, uh, which is massive for a little tiny machine like this. And then we'll go to TIG, and we got, we got 200 amp output on TIG. So a little bit more amperage on TIG, um, because it's more constant and less variability to it, but awesome thing. So what I'll do is I'll flip over here and hit the pulse button setting. Now it says off. Now to change that, you can't just hit it again. You gotta hit it, leave the light on, and then put your pulses per second in. And we'll see what it goes up to. 100 pulses per second, and then down to obviously 0 0.1 pulses per second. So pretty awesome little thing. Now let's see, one pulse per second. Now you'll see the light pulsing with the same number correlating how many pulses you're getting on that. Pretty awesome. We'll shut that off though. There we go. We'll go back to our amperage. So very, very simple to use on the front end of this machine. Two DINs connections. And like I said, 
our TIG port has a through the gas um, TIG torch, so solenoid in the back, and then we have our gas port in the front. Same Amphenol connection here on our foot pedal. Pretty awesome, nice, nice foot pedal. Everything comes well packaged, very light. Now we welded 6010 with this unit. Welds great. 718 welds great. We ran a little bit of TIG. Well, it's good. It's um, but it's more for where this machine fits into play is a uh, where we see a lot of them going is like contracting, right? Like, uh, people in the field that got to get up on scaffolding or in the air, or just tight places. They throw it on their shoulder. They got a TIG torch. They got a stick torch. Boom! Right there. They're real nice, real light. Uh, pretty decent duty cycle for for the size of the machine. So, like I said, 180 amp, 25 percent. That's pretty good, but 110, 220 is huge on these because we can plug into a regular wall outlet at home or on, in the field, or we can bump it up to 220. Um, but if anybody, if you guys got any questions, comments, leave them down below. We'll do our best to answer them. And uh, thanks again for watching and stay tuned.